Okay, so we're gonna take a minute here and just show you how this works. Um, right here is gonna be your power button where you power it on and power it off. You can also long press that to lock the display. So this vent booster fan was sent to me at no charge for the purpose of this review. They call this a smart fan uh, because it does have a digital readout. You can set this, program this, how you want it to work. It also has a remote control. I'm gonna show you all that here in just a minute. But what this does is replaces your old vent. Now, your, it should be a four inch wide by 10 inch hole that you're going to be inserting this in. So I've pulled my old vent out, so it should just slip right in here nice and easy, just like that. Currently, the air coming out of here, so right here we're getting 74 degrees, that's what's coming out of the vent right now. Uh, we do not have our air conditioning on yet. I'm putting it off just as long as possible to save as many dollars and cents as I can. So uh, we're hoping that this is going to help cool things down just a little bit. It's got an extra long power cord on it. Okay, so we're gonna take a minute here and just show you how this works. Um, right here is gonna be your power button where you power it on and power it off. You can also long press that to lock the display so nobody can come around and kick, hit any of these buttons and change any of your settings. You long press that to take it back off of the lock. And then what we have here is underneath here is the menu button. When you push your menu, you're going to toggle through your fan, your cool air, and your hot air. And uh, we want to go here to our cool air. The number that you see here, 75, is going to be your room temperature. To set your room temperature, you're going to long press the mode button, and then you can set that to whatever temperature you would like it to be. Then over here on the right-hand side down the lower corner, you're gonna see two little bars here, and those bars are your fan speed. That fan speed is gonna kick up when you are five degrees off of your set temperature. So if I wanted to, I can manually increase that fan speed all the way up to high, and then it is going to manual, then it is going to automatically adjust the fan speed based on the room temperature. So it says that the room temperature is currently 75. Once that drops down a couple of degrees, this is going to drop down to the default two bars on the fan. We do have a nighttime mode, and the nighttime mode is going to be a low fan speed, and it's also going to have the display go dark. We can also turn lights on and off using the light button right here. Now all of these features can also be controlled by the remote control as well. So we can turn our so we can turn our light on using the remote control, turn it off. We can set our temperature. And once we set our temperature, we're just gonna let it set until it goes back to the room temperature. We can change our wind speed. We can crank that up and it'll just toggle on through. We can lock our display, unlock it. We can turn it to heat, cool, fan, or we can put it on the sleep mode right here with the remote as well. All of this is going to be automatic. That's why they call it a smart fan. And so it's a pretty neat little unit here. I really like it. And uh, I'm hoping that it's going to help save on some of my utility costs. So if you're looking for a vent booster, this smart fan right here uh, definitely is something to consider.